Hello, and welcome once again to my How to Paint with Acrylics series. I think um, very often artists um, fall into a trap of taking perspective for granted. So today I'd like to focus a little bit on painting with good use of perspective to help lead an eye into an, uh, an image to help create a dynamic working space. So I thought a good way to do that would be creating a diverging road scene with a, maybe a distant tree to create good perspective between foreground and background. So I think uh, how I might start is I might create kind of a rosy um, background that can be used as my base color that all the other colors will go through. So I'm using this light pink to kind of create um, a back color instead of just that glaring white that'll poke through. So by having a um, background color, you can be sure that um, there'll be kind of a softness and uh, more accurate realism to your work than just having the whiteness of a blank paper, okay? And then of course, I think I might go with a more of a subtle sky. So I will use um, white in the top, mixed with the paper, um, I use a feathering technique. I kind of place um, one finger towards the front of the brush and a second one beside it. And with the wrist, I kind of create a, fe a feather wash within the sky. And then, of course, a hint, just a hint of blue in there. And, of course, I'm going to use that same feathering technique to kind of create that sky wash in there. Okay, and so um, typically I like to use yellow to show a strong distinction between sky and ground. So this is going to be our perspective. And notice how I'm going at an angle. This shows where the road is coming from. And they kind of diverge together to form a V shape. This shows that the road is starting out kind of big, and then as it goes in the distance it gets smaller. Um, to create kind of that, the ground uh, shape of it, the ground texture, I use some brown in there for the road. And then to create kind of a cobblestone-y look, um, I can, you can add in some, some other colors, just kind of spots. And just dab, 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 dab. And that creates kind of your um, cobblestone look. For the tree, I like using, um, you don't want this to be very big because it's a distant tree. So I just kind of press like that. Um, for the foliage, of course, you can use green, you can use black if it's a dead tree. Um, I do another, just a push technique like this, get a tree in there. Um, I think that's looking pretty good, but to create more of a dynamic distance between the foreground and the background, I think I'm going to add a boulder in the front so that you can see very easily the difference in size between an object in the background and the foreground. So here is a big boulder in the front. So you can see this object is larger in the front, this object's smaller in the background, and between the two you can't really tell. So I think this is a really good depiction of, um, oops, I accidentally got a little bit in there, so let me, let me fix that up. I kind of destroyed the picture a little bit, so there, that's just sky there, so you can't really tell that I did that. There. So there's boulder and tree. Um, yeah, and I think this one's about done. I'm going to sign my name down here with yellow and then with the blue um, center there. And hopefully you learned a little bit something about perspective there. There's my scene of um, a uh, converging road in, in a, for, in a um, pastoral scene. Uh, please like and subscribe and rate and comment and... Hopefully I'll see you around at the next lesson. Thanks. Bye.